This is a walkthrough of some new features in Curvy 2, mainly posing and some new mesh tools. Here I'm making a simple character to demonstrate posing of a smoothly skinned body. Um, I've just S merged two lathes together. In the tools panel, there's now a new bone you can create, which you just draw as a line. The direction of the line is important, so you draw from root to tip of each bone and tap the space bar in between each one just to deselect the old bone. Um, pressing F7 opens the groups menu where you can drag the hierarchy of the bones. You can copy and paste um, using Control L, sorry, Control C and Control L to paste a mirrored version of an arm, say, and then drag it into the right place in the hierarchy. Then I'm dragging the mesh object um, just beneath the first bone, so it's just under the, the root of the skeleton. And I selected skinned from the object properties panel as an option. Tapping U or going into the posing mode will turn the outline of the views green to remind you in, you're in posing mode. And now when you rotate the bones, they will only rotate around their root. And they'll also take the skinned mesh with them. You might find you need to adjust the positions of the bones a little, so you can tap U again to go back into the modeling mode, move the bones around a bit, and see if you can improve the skinning. Sometimes you'll need to turn the skinning on and off to force the, uh, the skin to reattach to the bones. If you draw a second line on a bone, it'll determine the size of the smoothed area between bones. So there I've just drawn a, a long line on the body, so the body smooths a long way into the arm. Now we can advance to uh, painting. Currently, if, when you S-merge, the paint goes straight through the object, so you're painting on the front and the back. But if you click Mesh UV Front Back, it splits that, uh, that UV map into two. So now, when we draw on the front, the back is left unaffected. So I'll just draw a little ghost. And here he is posed. <coughs> you can also just parent uh, unskinned objects, solid objects, under the bones to make a, a rigid robotic type look. And this is perfectly valid and it gives you the benefit that the objects will only rotate around the, the root of the bone. So your object stays with a quite as a well-defined hierarchy. If you want to tweak the positions of the beginning ends and ends of the bones, the bone is actually a curve, so you can use the widget tool to drag the curve around, to drag the start and the end. So there I've just repositioned the shoulder and switching back into pose mode. It's now rotating around the new joint. Another feature I've added um, is the Explode tool. So I'm just going to cut a lathe in half by subtracting one lathe from another to leave a hole. So I delete the original objects and now I've got a lathe with a hole in it. And Mesh Explode will split that into two parts. Again it leaves the original so you can delete that if you want. And now you have two separate meshes to move around. Um, so perhaps we could uh, reattach them the other way up.
Here I'm using Shift S to smooth, which smooths much faster. It's also useful on curves to use Shift S. So S merge joins the objects together, and now we have a very odd shape. Another tool which you might not have seen yet is uh, just being able to scale and translate fixed to an axis. So if you hold down X, Y, or Z, you can move or scale an object just in one axis, which gives you a, a squash or a stretch. So there I'm holding down Z, then I'm holding down Y, and then X to scale in different directions. And finally, I'll show you another use of bones, which is to distort a model and then save that model back as a sort of static mesh. So I'm adding the bone, setting it to be skinned, selecting the first bone and, and giving it a second line to define the, the radius of the skinning. Now when we rotate the bones, the whole ob object should bend. And then pressing K or selecting object convert to mesh will freeze that transformation off as a permanent edit to the object. So we can reuse it elsewhere or carry on editing it. Well, thanks for watching this preview of Curvy2 Alpha and hope you'll see more soon.